telling the tales of Hebei. Traveling the land of Yanzhao. Tasting Taihong cuisine. Experiencing the culture of North China. Enjoy Hebei. And yesterday, Anna brought me here to Zhengding to try the local cuisine. Now, Zhengding is not just about food. There's 1,600 years of history behind me. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Through the imposing walls, Anna and I entered the ancient city of Zhengding. Oh, and I think maybe the archers would shut down between there. With more than 1,600 years of history, this city was up and running before the fall of the Roman Empire. From its strong borders to its busy city center, Zhengding boasts nine gate towers, four pagodas, eight temples, and 24 memorial archways. So there's plenty for you to see when you come to visit. Oh, wow, what is that? Yeah, it's really beautiful, right? Yes. This building is named Yanghe Lou, and you can see it's just in the middle of the street, and all roads are around it, just in order to go forward. Really amazing and imposing. Yes, it is. So is it a palace? Mm. Yeah, it's a kind of palace, or we can say like a gate. Oh, cool. Wait a second. Take a picture. Oh, okay. Yanghe Gate Tower has a history of more than 1,000 years. During those many years, famous poets strolled this very wall and looked out over the bustling city below. As I follow in their footsteps, I can still hear the muses mumbling in my ears, and even I want to sit down and write some poetry. ever wanted to feel like a star in a period drama? Zhengding's Rongguo Mansion gives that opportunity to you. Dream of the Red Chamber is one of China's four classic novels, and this very site was the film set for the TV adaptation. Here we are at Longxing Temple, also known as the Big Buddha Temple. It is one of the 10 most famous temples in all of China. Founded in 586 CE during the Sui Dynasty, Longxing Temple has stood the test of time. The monastery's grounds are expansive and well-maintained with plenty of crannies for you to poke around. Over its many years, towering stelae have been erected to record history. Some of the stelae even have the thoughts of emperors written on them. While it was once a lively home for monks, today it's a museum and a site for prayers. Statue over the wall called the Oh, and how tall is it? It's 21.3 meters. Oh, 
really tall. Yeah, it's huge. And I hear if you touch this bronze incense holder, it's good luck. <laughs> One of Longqing Temple's most impressive features is the bronze statue of the thousand-eyed, thousand-armed Guan Yin. Standing at 21.3 meters tall, or 70 feet, and made in 971 CE, it is the oldest, tallest statue of a bronze Buddha in the world. As legend goes, there was once a king who fell horribly ill, and the only medicine that could save him had to be made from a relative's eyes and hands. Without hesitation, the king's daughter dug out her eyes and offered up her hands. Witnessing this kindness, Buddha gifted the daughter 1,000 eyes and 1,000 hands so that she could share her mercy and compassion with the world. It's mind-boggling to think I'm in a city that has thrived since ancient times. All around, there are so many temples and pagodas built in different styles from different dynasties. And so many dynasties at that! I mean, I'm not afraid to admit I sat down to look up a little about each dynasty, but it's even more impressive to see their varied architecture in person. From all over the world, table tennis athletes converge at the table tennis training base to hone their ping pong skills and learn some new tips and tricks. As I leisurely stroll through the streets of Zhengding, I began to notice that it isn't all ancient history here. Zhengding may have filled the tomes of time, but there's plenty of people who live in the here and now to dine on delicious street food and enjoy the company of their friends. Mm -hmm.